You're a, an only child, aren't you? Well, yes, but... Siblings fight. Let me give you some advice. <coughs> if you ever have children, Nancy-san, and they are not fighting, it generally means they are hiding something that they have just broken. <laughs> I love the gardens. Do you take care of them? Yes, of course. I sleep here, but my home is out there in the gardens. Even when the whole earth is covered in snow, I am happiest there, waiting for the first flowers to break through the frost. Do yourself a favor, Nancy Son. Find a small piece of earth that begs to be made perfect, and do whatever it asks of you. You will thank me. The Ryukon seems very important to you. The world around has become a million different things since I was a girl. And I do not have to tell you that many changes have not been so good. But in here, the world does not change. Why do you want Yumi to take over the Ryukon? It is tradition. Any other reason? I am used to this question. Tradition is very often made fun of. <coughs> but tradition is how we know ourselves, Nancy Son. The traditions of your family are how you know yourself. Tradition is a burden in many ways. I understand this. But imagine not knowing who you are or where you come from. It would be very lonely, I think. Have you always lived at the Ryukon? Since I was born. Have you ever left? I have. But I never found anywhere I wanted to be as much as here. Have you been to Yumi's bento stand? No. It's great. You'd love it. I taught her how to cook for many years. I should not have to sit on the crane to try her bento. I need to know, do you believe the Ryukon is haunted? Yes, Nazi-san. This isn't a trick someone is doing. Kasumi, she is still here. I can feel it. She's trapped and she's scared. And she's angry. Do you really believe that? When I was a girl, the most beautiful sparrow from the garden flew into my room. I had been trying to lure it in with seeds I'd stolen from the gardens for weeks. At first, I was so excited to have her in my room, but not for long. She couldn't find her way back out. She became very scared threw herself into the walls in a panic. I was so worried she would die. She was so small and so frightened. I opened the windows wide and snuck out of the room to let her calm down. An hour passed. Then two, three, I'd open the door and still she'd be there, crashing into the glass trying so desperately to get free. Did she get out? Cosme is still here. I must help her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very busy. Yeah, I decided not to cut it.
you know what's scaring the guests away? Shitty superstitions. I don't get it. We have ghost hunters who come here to find ghosts. If they think they found something, they get all panicked and run away. I saw some more guests just leave. They seemed pretty spooked. Yeah, those poor people. What happened? Who knows? They were too upset to make any sense. But I took care of their room after they left. I admit, it was a little spooky. Everything was torn up, like someone had taken the whole ryokan and given it a shake. And the shoji had turned this dark ash color. Something weird happened in there. I'll let you go. Bye. <laughs> Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. That is probably what I have to do. Me walk, uh, I wanna talk to you. <laughs> Hello. I hear this place has a reputation as a destination for ghost hunters. We didn't ask for it. It's all that stupid book. Those people, they have no respect for anyone or anything. I saw a certificate certifying that the Ryokan was cleansed of all ghosts and spirits. Can you tell me about that? What? That's no offense, but that seems sort of silly. A certificate? So you don't know anything about it? No. And where exactly did you find this certificate? Behind the portrait I helped Rentaro repair. Maybe you should stay away from what isn't yours. And maybe he should have the sense to know what is a family matter. I have to get back to work now. Come back later. Still have to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do next, so I will be right back. Okay, there it goes. Okay. See, this is a puzzle that you have to figure out. So, we want... There's a hidden message. I need to talk to Yumi about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it does stay all together. Okay, let's start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hi. There's a hidden message in all of those pictures you sent, isn't there? What do you mean? All of these pictures together show a set of numbers in Japanese. This can't just be a coincidence. You're trying to tell me something, aren't you? You're sure they mean something? Maybe you've been spending a little too much time at the Ryokan. I'm positive. You're right. Nice job, Nancy. But why would you do that? Why not just ask me? I know you want to help, Nancy, but that doesn't mean you can help. If you could break this code, I knew you could help me, and you did. But what do these numbers mean? That's the next step. Take a good look around. Think about situations where numbers come in handy. Can you tell me a little bit more? I would, but I'm falling way behind as it is. I need your help. Come on. Oh, okay. This is the last time you have to do bento. Ooh, this one kind of is hard. Looks like it. Okay, then, then we'll go with this. Let's go to sleep. And I press one thing. Okay. Mm. 